Hello Mashkins and in this video I will be showing you how I'm going to fix some of my six month old slimes from Snoop Slimes and if you haven't seen that whole review video yet I will be linking that video in the description. We ordered a bunch of clear slimes and a cloud slime and everything so I will be trying to fix all of those um, that have been sitting around for six months. And some of you who have seen that first review video might know that we also ordered a detox slime but i won't be fixing that one in this video just because it discolored because i added some of the slime that leaked into the packet back into the slime which wasn't the brightest idea ever so fixing liquid clear slime or any liquid slime for that matter is not a lot of fun but in order to do it you're just going to need to mix your activator and i will be giving our activator ratios in the description and you just have to add little bits at a time and then i always just go in with my finger but you can use a spoon to mix in the activator until you get the consistency that you want And then when the slime is a little bit more holdable, you can go in with your hands and then put some activator on your hands and then just keep adding the activator just so that you can get the stickiness away. This is a freshly activated slime, so there's still a lot of bubbles in here. So I included a clip at the end of this video of what this slime looked like when it's been standing for a little while. This next slime was the second slime that came with the Tutti Frutti Duo. The yellow one was the other one. And this one was also really liquid. And I just did the same thing where I just add the activator and then mix it all in. And then just as a little side note, it's completely natural for slimes to go liquid, especially clear slimes, especially when they've been standing for a long time or if they've been left in hot conditions. But you can easily fix it. This next slime was a little crunch slime that came in the mystery trio set. And this one, I think it's called the Mango Tango. I'm not entirely sure. And then this one was really difficult to fix. I don't actually think I managed to fix it. It was really hard. And I think the foam beads soaked up all of the slime. So there wasn't really anything to fix. So I kept adding little bits of activator and it just became really hard. So this one was not a success. If you would like to see what this slime looked like when we first received it six months ago, make sure to go and watch the Snoop Slimes review video. As you can see, I kind of gave up with this slime. The foam bees just went everywhere under my nails and it was just really unpleasant. At least it still smelled good. This next one, I'm not sure what the name was. It also came in the mystery trio set, but it smelled like watermelon and it looks like watermelon. So maybe it was some type of watermelon scrub slime. I'm not sure. And this one in the first review video, I also didn't really like it that much. The crystals sort of hurt my hands and the little um, glitters also went under my nails so this one was also quite difficult to fix I did manage to fix this slime kind of it was a little bit hard but i think that's just because i added too much activator but i really 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 love the crunches of this slime this next one is the cloud slime that we also received in the little trio set and this one was still really, really soft, just like the first time that we received it. And it also smells so, so, so good. However, it wasn't drizzling as well. And I think you can fix it by adding some lotion and microwaving it. However, I didn't want to do anything to the slime in case it spoils it. I just want to keep it the way it is, even though it didn't make as nice drizzles as the first time. I 
And to end off this video, I included the two clips of the two Tutti Frutti slimes, just to show you what it looks like when these slimes have been standing for a little while. And I really, really think I did a good job of fixing these clear slimes. They were so thick and stretchy. And then I think the other slimes I failed a little bit at. However, my, the clear slimes are my favorite slimes from her, so I'm so glad I managed to fix these ones. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and we wish all of our Mushkins a really happy 2019 and we are so excited for this year and if you have any video suggestions at all for this year, please leave them in the comments and I can't wait to go through them.